Electrostatics refers to electric charges at rest. Electric charge is quantized, and what that means is it exists in certain specified amounts. There are certain values of electric charge that are possible, and other values are not possible. Charge is measured in coulombs, which is symbolized by a capital C. The charge on one proton or one electron is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. We've arbitrarily assigned the proton to have a positive charge and the electron to have a negative charge, but the magnitude of those charges is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Which of these particles tends to move? You should have learned that in chemistry, and that would be, of course, the electron, and you should have hopefully learned the reason for that, and that is that the protons are bound within the nuclei, and so they can't move all that easily. And electrons, which we can think of as orbiting the nucleus, are more easily transferred between nuclei and are more easily moved through a material. The law of conservation of charge says that the total amount of charge is fixed. However much charge we have, we have. It can be moved around, but the total amount stays the same. When a balloon is rubbed against denim, the charge loses 6.56 times 10 to the 8th electrons. What is the net charge on the balloon and on the denim? If we have 6.56 times 10 to the 8th electrons, we know that one electron has a charge of magnitude equal to 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So if we set up a conversion factor, cancel the electron unit, one in the numerator, one in the denominator, we get this magnitude of charge. That's the magnitude of charge that is on the balloon. And that's because the balloon has gained electrons. The denim has lost electrons. So its net charge is positive that amount. You can see that the total amount of charge hasn't changed. We've just moved electrons from denim to balloon. Suppose you get a question like this. Assume that we measure that a conductor loses negative 1.05 times 10 to the negative 18th coulombs of charge. How many electrons did it lose? Well here, we're going to use the same equivalence statement, but the conversion factor will be upside down compared to what we had before, so that the coulomb units cancel. If you type that out, you get a number like this, 6.56 electrons. And of that, we would like to say, Jack, you're doing it wrong. You can't have fractions of electrons, because electrons are quantized entities. You might have lost six electrons, or you might have lost seven, but you've never lost 6.56. So make sure whenever you do a problem, you think about the reasonableness of your answer. 6.56 electrons is not a reasonable answer.